Hello everybody and welcome to part two of our double header today in our FCS Dynasty and NCAA Football 2006. Today we got the Dayton Flyers, who are 1-1 one one on the season, traveling to take on the 10th ranked Eastern Michigan Eagles. And I got Dayton winning this one 35-28 because of the way that they performed last week against the San Jose State Spartans in a 63-0 just demolition of the Spartans. That was a nasty game. And in week two... They didn't have a week one game, so week two, they lost to Central Michigan 52-42, to so that was a very close game against another ranked opponent. So this is their third ranked opponent in a row, and I think they're going to pull off another win here against Eastern Michigan. They have the number one ranked offense in the nation, 638 yards per game, and I'm interested in seeing uh, who the guys are going to pick for this game, because I think it's going to be a close one, but I'll see you guys down on the field here in a minute. Two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso. Damp and cold conditions in the forecast for tonight's matchup between the Flyers and the Eastern Michigan Eagles. The college football season continues, and I got to tell you, Lee and Kirk, I am ready for this game. And here come the Eagles. The Eagles come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? Eastern Michigan has a big-time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against this defense. I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers. Lee, look for a big blow on him. I agree with you on this one. Eastern Michigan will be victorious today. <laughs> All right, there you have it. The coach has made his pick. Let's go down to the captains at midfield for today's coin toss. So everybody except for me is going with Eastern Michigan today. And here's Smash Jackson breaking two tackles on the first play of the game. Jackson again getting a carry. Another first down run for big old Smash Jackson who came into today's game with 275 rushing yards, 13 broken tackles, 8 rushing touchdowns, and a receiving touchdown. There's a nice catch for the tight end, Trent Green. Dorian Wura on the option. He's going to have a first down and taken down by the face mask. They don't call it. And here's a third down. Dorian taking a shot left side deflected away. So they have to send on the field goal unit. The kick is up and it is just barely good. And I apologize for drop frames yet again. McLaurin, one of the top quarterbacks in the nation, throwing out to Smith. And a huge pickup. What a hit. First down anyway at midfield. Here's Carey on the carry. Gets past the 40 for another uh, Eagles first down. This time he is stuffed in the backfield, though, by the outside linebacker. McLaurin going to take a shot right side. Smith has it at the 32-yard line. Stopped short of the first down, and the Eagles pump the football away. Smash Jackson picking up where he left off here. And there's another great throw down the middle of the field to Trent Green, the tight end. One of the two tight ends on this team. And Dorian rolling out right side. He's got Green again with a nice catch. Stays in bounds. Picks up the first down and maybe eight extra yards out of that throw. Wura throwing right side. Deflected and picked off by Givens. And probably one of the greatest interceptions you'll see on the season. His second of the year. And Dorian has a few interceptions on the season. That one was not his fault. That was just a great deflection and diving interception. And Eastern Michigan taking a shot left side. Hills breaks the tackle. Rob Orlandi cannot catch him. He does not have the speed for that. And Orlandi does have eight tackles, one for a loss, two picks, a forced fumble, and a pass deflection today. Well, not today, but on the season. Dorian taking off right side. Nice spin move up to the 21-yard line. A fantastic run. And Dorian came into today's game with 302 rushing yards, over 490 passing and four total touchdowns. But Eastern Michigan will have the ball here again at, at midfield. Cobbs, the fullback, gets a carry on a direct snap. A first down and more up to the 26-yard line. That play took forever. I'm not sure how he got that far. And they get another first down here to Nelson. And carry up the middle untouched for the touchdown. And Dayton came in to the game with the 10th-ranked defense in the country. And Eastern Michigan having no trouble right now, but here's Smash Jackson getting a couple blocks from Amari Manuel in the open field, and he is to the house. His ninth rushing touchdown on the season. And that was a big-time run, 75-yard touchdown run for Smash 
Jackson. He's got to be in the consideration for the Heisman at some point this season. And Orlandi missed an interception attempt there. And Hills is over the 100-yard mark receiving already. McLaurin taking a deep shot, overthrows his target by a mile. He has a cannon. Dorian, play action, pressured, taken out of bounds. Fourth and three, they have to punt the ball away. A quick three and out for the Flyers. McLaurin, sacked, he fumbles the football. And it is recovered by Eastern Michigan. Orlandi missed a huge opportunity here. Dove right next to the football and was not even close. Unreal. McLaurin then takes a shot left side to Nelson. He's got another first down for the Eagles. And they are torching the left side of the field right now. And they try, try a halfback pass there. And it leads to a 44-yard field goal attempt. And it is right down the center. Just about hit their cannon. 17 to 10 with nine seconds remaining. Dorian taking a shot over the middle. Nice completion out to Trent Green, who has been the go-to guy so far for Dorian. And he's going to take another shot here with no time left on the clock. Throws it out deep, and what a throw into the end zone. Deflected away. Amari Manuel, the intended target. And the Eagles take the lead into the half. 17 to 10 over the Dayton Flyers. We have yet to see Amari Manuel get a catch. And he had seven for 292 yards and a touchdown coming into the game. Pretty close in stats so far. And there's a nice stop for the Flyers on the first play of the second half. Second and 13. They're going to try another halfback pass here. Left side and it's backwards and a fumble. They lose about seven. That makes it third and 20. The Eagles are going to take a shot over the middle. Nice stop by Rob Orlandi on Hills as he goes over 120 yards receiving. Smash Jackson, nice juke, nice spin. Gets the first down and more. About a 10-yard pickup. And Dorian going to take a nice quick throw over the middle to Trent Green, who jukes out a defender and breaks another tackle. And another big-time catch for him today. And this time he'll hand it off to the non-subscriber fullback, who keeps on trucking all the way down to the 15-yard line, the biggest run of his career. First and 10 from the 15. Dorian takes off on the option, taken down at the one-yard line. Averaging eight yards per carry today. And he will punch it into the end zone here for the touchdown. His fifth total touchdown this season. I'm waiting to see Gloves Malone. Haven't seen him today. And he gets beat here by Hills, who has been torching him all game. Gloves Malone has 10 tackles, three pass deflections, and 200 return yards on the season as Carey gets another big time run. Lauren, left side wide open as Smith outrunning Gloves Malone inside the 10 down to the 6-yard line. Gloves Malone, a rough day for him. And he gets blocked into the end zone here, allowing Carey to walk into the end zone. And giving Eastern Michigan back the lead, 24-17. And we're a scrambling right side. Finds Trent Green once again past midfield for the first down. He's got 125 yards receiving on the season. We're rolling out left side. He's going to take off. Look at how fast that young man is up to the 36-yard line. Rolling around, staying in the pocket, taking a deep shot. Left side, inside the 10, incomplete. He wanted James Skaggs on the catch and could not find the second tight end on the roster. But they do kick a nice long field goal here. And they make it a 24-20 ball game. 32 seconds left in the third quarter. And he is probably the best kicker we have on the 12 schools that we use in this dynasty. Third and 10 for Eastern Michigan, taking another deep shot. And I'm not sure where Gloves Malone is, but the safety gets beat all the way down to the 17-yard line. McLaurin now over 300 passing yards for the game. And he gets hit as he throws now. Nice deflection this time by Gloves Malone. Only got to the quarterback once today, but we do hold Eastern Michigan to a field goal here to make it a seven-point game yet again. Nice 61-yard drive. Smash Jackson on a carry. He'll get another first down here. Nice 12-yard pickup off the right tackle. Dorian rolling left. Smash Jackson. Not Smash Jackson. The other Jackson wide open. All the way to the 42-yard line. Now we have Smash Jackson getting a carry. He'll have another first down. Gets absolutely demolished at the 30-yard line. Second and 20, option play, Smash Jackson using his acceleration to get 10 yards back after a holding call. He's got 180 yards rushing today. 
Aguera, right side, he finds Skaggs this time, his first catch of the day up to the 15 yard line inside the red zone. Flyers threatening. Wura scrambling, wide open in the end zone. He threw the ball a little too late. And the Flyers have to settle for a field goal. The kick is no good. He missed it. He just pushed it to the right. Carey, left side. In the open field. Tries to stiff arm the defender. Nice open field tackle by the safety. Cummings. McLaurin pressured. Wide open over the middle is Smith again. The Flyers need a stop big time right now. They're running out of time and timeouts. But Carey in the open field. Gets a block by the referee, and he's off into the end zone for the Eastern Michigan touchdown, making it a 34-20 lead with 2.08 to go in the game. But they're not done yet, folks. This is the number one offense in the nation. Nice run by Dorian. He's got 70 yards rushing today. And he's going to roll out again. He's got L1 wide open. That's Wesley, and he makes the catch. Out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Big time reception. Smash Jackson gets player of the game for Dayton. And carry the halfback for Eastern Michigan's player of the game for them. And Dorian gets crushed as he tries to throw it. That makes it fourth and 25. Wura taking a shot over the middle, deflected away. He got nothing on that throw. He was crushed as he threw it. And that changes the trajectory of the pass. Here's Carey breaking a tackle in the open field. Somehow escapes. And he's gone again. They had him bottled up in the backfield, somehow escaping for a 53-yard touchdown run. And Eastern Michigan on top by three touchdowns now. But the Flyers still not going to give up. wuro has got Wesley wide open, and he needs one block. He gets it, and he is gone. Huge touchdown reception, 75-yard bomb to the slot receiver, Wesley. But that is going to be it, folks. 41-27, the 10th-ranked Eagles beat the Dayton Flyers at home in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Not the outcome we wanted for this game, but I hope you guys have enjoyed the doubleheader today. Our next video will be out tomorrow. That will be our taking a look at the nation, our week four recap, and our week five prediction video. But Dayton, this is the first time they have been held under 600 yards of offense on the season, but they are the most balanced offense in the country. 319 yards rushing per game. 318 passing. You cannot get much more balanced than that. But it wasn't enough today. Eastern Michigan pulled away there in the second half, putting up 24 points on us. And Dorian were a 10 of 26, 258, one touchdown, one pick, 38 completion percentage, sacked twice. But he got it done on the ground today. 65 yards for Dorian Wura. And Smash Jackson a buck 88 with one touchdown. That's his ninth total touchdown on the season, or 10th total touchdown on the season, excuse me. Trent Green, six catches of 108 yards. Wesley, 108. Skaggs with 15-yard reception. And Amari Manuel did not have one single catch today after he came into the game with seven for 292. So that was a big part of their offense missing right there. A bunch of drops today. I believe that was five drops by the receivers. And that would have made Dorian Ware 15 of 26 with probably over 350 passing yards. They were all deep passes that were dropped. Emmanuel with two pancakes today. Trent Green with one. Trent Green actually allowed a sack today from the tight end spot. Gloves Malone, nine tackles. He got beat a lot today, so that's why he had uh, the most tackles on the team. Raul Orlandi with five. Price with three. Tank Taylor had one tackle. Not a whole lot from the defensive line today. Bunch of tackles for a loss. Gloves Malone actually got one. I believe that was on a screen pass that I did not show you guys. One sack for Swanson. No interceptions. Gloves Malone, three deflections. Rob Orlandi with one. And that actually gives Gloves Malone six pass deflections on the season. And Rob Orlandi with two. Not a whole lot in the return game. Well, Gloves Malone did have 44 yards on returns today. But look at those stats. Not a lot of defense being played in this game. But a well-fought victory for Eastern Michigan. I got to give my tip of the hat to them and the next Dayton Flyer football game they host the Montana Grizzlies that is a week five matchup and that is the start of their Big Ten play that's going to be an interesting game Montana usually gets good in these type of dynasties and I am really looking forward to that one I will see you guys tomorrow as we take a look at the nation take it easy guys